Okay, let's try another one here. We've got a soccer ball, and it's kicked horizontally off a 22-meter high hill and lands a distance 35 meters from the edge of the hill. Determine the initial horizontal velocity of the soccer ball. So we've got to do, again, I'm going to draw a picture, but I've got to make some assumptions about this. We've got some sort of hill, and we've got a soccer ball, and that soccer ball is being kicked it says horizontally, so we have to assume that maybe it's not kicked in a vertical direction because it doesn't really say. So we've got some sort of hill. It's kicked this way at a particular velocity, velocity, and um, what we're told is that um, the 22 meter high hill. Okay, I'll do that. This. It looks like this, 22 meters, two significant figures. And um, we also know that the ball lands a distance 35 meters from the edge of the hill. Determine the initial horizontal velocity of the soccer ball. So something we need to kind of figure out here is we don't really know if the hill looks like this or actually if you're on kind of a cliff so if the hill kind of goes like this you know drops off like that and the 35 meters that you are away um, is measured this way you know this from from this point here to this edge of the hill or is it measured from here to here now, since we don't know the shape of the hill, I'll just say you you can't really solve this problem if you don't know the shape of the hill. So you're going to have to make um, an assumption about the shape of the hill. And my assumption that I'm going to make is I'm just going to really simplify this. I'm going to say the hill, I'm going to draw it up here. The hill looks like this. It's a cliff. Um, and it looks kind of dangerous. Okay, the ball goes directly out like this at some unknown velocity. It drops, hits the ground 35 meters away. That's my cat. From the edge of this hill, measured horizontally. And the hill itself is 22 meters high. Okay, once again, we've got two significant figures. Two here, two here. And now we want to know, what is the initial horizontal velocity of the soccer ball? Okay, um, just a second, got to take care of my cat. Okay, we are looking for this right here. What is that velocity? Well, what do we know? We don't know how fast it's going. We do know the distance. Um, and that sort of will get us close because we know that the distance equals um, that it will go, assuming the velocity is constant, is equal to the velocity times the time. So if we knew the time that it took to hit the ground, we could actually compute the di velocity because we do know, we do know this distance x is 35 meters. We don't know how long it takes to fall. Now and hit the ground here. Now, we know that the ball is going to follow some sort of projectile motion like this. And you can see that it's in kind of a free, well, it is. It's a free fall as it goes this way, and it's got this constant horizontal velocity this way. So we could use our equation for free fall uh, to compute, knowing that the that you have a the, the gravitational constant, the acceleration, g is constant, and we'll call it 10, no, we'll use 9.8. 9.8 meters per second squared uh, in this direction, in this direction. So we could actually figure out how long it takes to get from this top point to this bottom point, knowing that the distance is 22 meters per second squared. So the equation that we have for that is um, x, oops, oh sorry, x final, ah. Again, x final equals x initial plus v naught t plus one half 
a t squared. This is our generic equation for, for displacement. And the thing to notice here is that it's a free fall. So free fall means the initial velocity in this direction is zero. So we're going to make this term, we just drop this term out, turn it into zero. We, and then now we need to draw a set of axes. We're going to measure the distance, and of course, you can see the most convenient thing would just be to put a set of axes right here and measure this distance in this direction. I can call this, if I want, to call it my plus, plus x direction for this equation. I could call it negative x and put plus x up there. I should do it that way as well. So we'll call this, if I call it plus x direction, then I know that my gravitational con uh, acceleration is in that direction. It's in the plus x direction. Again, it's a vector. The, 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 um, the acceleration is a vector, and we have to establish what direction it's in. Um, okay, so my final distance, we know, is this distance here, 22... 22 meters, and so we have 22 meters equals the initial, we know this is zero, if we call this the zero point equals zero, um, zero plus zero uh, plus one half, one half, the acceleration 9.8 meters per second squared times the time, we, which we don't know, so t squared. We're solving for t. So we bring this over here. We've got 44 divided by 9.8, uh, 44 meters divided by 9.8 meters per second squared. I'll bring the second squared on top here, equals t squared. You can see that 44 divided is about half. It's almost half um, of 98. So I'm going to call this approximately um, uh, 1 over 2, um, that's not quite right, 10, 10, 20, 1 over 2 times 10, 10 over 2 is about 5, it's about 5 equals t squared, so t is approximately equal to square root of 5, which is, what is that, around 2.2? Uh, okay, so anyway, I'm going to do, I'm going to use a calculator. Uh, I have clear 44 divided by 9.8 is 4.5. Taking the square root of that is, oops, I'm not used to this calculator, it is 2.1. Okay, so time is 2.1 seconds. So uh, I've run out of room here, so I'm just going to erase it. Um, we've got, um, oh goodness, t equals 2.1 seconds. Let's go to the next slide. Okay, so 2.1 seconds, that's the initial time that it takes. Now what I need to do is use that time in this equation, knowing that this is 35 meters, uh, and then calculate the velocity from that. If you go ahead and do that, you can see that 35 divided by 2.1 is going to be on the order of maybe 16, 16 meters per second. So I'm taking 35 divided by 2.1. is 16.7, um, so about 17 meters per second is the velocity um, in the horizontal direction, it's approximately 17 meters per second. Okay, I hope that's clear.